Hi there. We heard you're coming to visit us at the hospital. We can't wait to meet you. But first, let's learn a bit more about the adventure that lies ahead. When you wake up in the morning, you might feel a bit nervous. Why don't you bring your favourite teddy with you? It'll help you to be brave. There are other things to pack in your bag, like your toothbrush and jammies. Do you normally eat a bowl of cereal for breakfast or buttered toast? On the day of your hospital visit, you only need a glass of water. Your tummy might grumble about this, but it's important that it's empty. Then it's off to the hospital you go. Why not ask mum or dad to tell you a story about the time they went to hospital? This is where babies are born and sore legs are bandaged up after playground accidents. It might seem big and smell like the kitchen floor when it's been mopped, but everyone is really friendly. Here are some of the interesting people you will meet. A ward nurse, an anaesthetist, a theatre nurse and a surgeon. Say hello! After the ward nurse has shown you your very own bed, you can pyjamas on or other comfortable clothes and get to know the children in the ward. There's a bit of waiting around until it's your turn to go to theatre, but don't worry, there's a room with toys that you and your new friends can enjoy. There are some great machines that the nurse will use to make sure your body is ready for an operation. One of them uses something similar to an armband you'd wear at the swimming pool, and their thermometer looks like a white TV remote. When that is done, you and your teddy will get your very own bracelets, so everyone will know your name. The surgeon will pay you a visit to talk about your operation. He or she will explain anything you don't understand and answer all of mum or dad's questions. The anaesthetist will also stop by. They might be wearing jammies too. They're the ones who help you to go to sleep for the operation. They'll show you the masks they sometimes use and make sure you know what will happen in the theatre. The ward nurse will bring you medicine that tastes just like the one you have at home. When you're ready, a porter will come to push your bed through the corridors to the operating theatre. Hold on tight! Make sure you show your teddy all the interesting things you see on your journey. The theatre is a big room full of machines, computers and a bed on which you will lie. Once you're settled in, it'll be time to go to sleep. There are two different ways this can happen. You can blow into a big bag like a balloon and a special gas will help you nod off. Or for slightly older children, a little tube can be used. If you have the tube, the doctor will put some magic cream on your hand first. It makes the skin all numb, as if you've been playing outside on a cold day with no gloves. You won't feel anything when they put the tube in, or when they give you the medicine that will make you sleepy. Next thing you know, you'll be fast asleep. When your operation is over, you will be taken to a place called recovery. You will wake up here with Teddy, and your mum or dad will be in the chair beside the bed. You might be really thirsty, but don't worry, the nurses will bring you a drink. You won't remember anything about the operation, but you can tell your mum or dad about any dreams you had while you were sleeping. If you had a little tube to help you go to sleep, it will be removed and you'll get a little plaster. Your growling Tommy can now eat as much as it likes. Before long, it'll be time to go home. You, Teddy and Mum or Dad will say goodbye to all the lovely people you've met during your visit to the hospital. We're really looking forward to meeting you. See you soon.